It was yearbook picture day for Cassandra Lane's son Zeke. At first, the proud mom thought that her child would just be having a headshot taken. But when she realized his senior photo would feature his hands, which were stained from working all summer long, she found herself tearing up. Much of Lane's life is dedicated to bettering the lives of children. Professionally, she is a teacher. Personally, meanwhile, she is a wife to Brandon and mother to five children, including a daughter whom she's adopted. Lane even serves as a foster mom to a growing baby. But if that wasn't enough to keep her busy already, Lane also keeps a blog. In fact, the supermom regularly shares stories about her three sons and two daughters via Facebook. And one such tale involved her son Zeke, who was going into his senior year of high school. In July of 2018, Lane and Zeke had gone to have his senior portrait taken for the school yearbook, and the mom of five thought that the photo would be just that, a portrait. Understandably, then she didn't worry about the way her son's hands looked. You see, Zeke's hands were a little grubby from work. Lane wrote in a Facebook post, Earlier this week we went to get Zeke's senior yearbook pictures. On the way, I noticed his hands. Working hands. Hands that look familiarly like my dad's work-stained hands and like Brandon's in the early years of our marriage. In spite of his mom's adoration of his dirt-stained hands, Zeke probably wasn't so keen on having mucky hands on that given day. They might show up in the photos after all. But Lane calmed his nerves, explaining, I told him not to worry about it because they were doing headshots. However, when Lane and Zeke arrived, she realized that notion was incorrect. As we sat in line, I noticed kids in letterman jackets with their class rings, she wrote. Indeed, the other students' accessories seemed to signify that they'd be posing with their hands at the forefront of their portraits. And that realization made Lane tear up. In fact, it made her scrutinize her choices as a mother. Have I given him everything a parent should give to their child as he has grown up? She questioned. Lane then described how her son had gotten his hands dirty in the first place. He works out in the heat 30 to 40 hours a week during the summer, she wrote. It also transpired, meanwhile, that Zeke had never requested the accessories that his classmates donned that day. Unhappily, all of these thoughts gave way to self-doubt for Lane. The Monty comparison game tells me I didn't show how much I love him with things, she wrote, and when they left the photo shoot, the mom of five was feeling bad about herself. What's more, Lane even admitted to spending the next few days crying a lot as she reflected on her feelings. Eventually, she decided to apologize to Zeke for the way he was raised, but the her son's reaction clearly wasn't one that Lane was expecting. Zeke laughed at me, Lane recalled before remembering that Zeke then said, Why are you sorry? Because you've taught me to work hard for things I want. The youngster continued, Because I know the value of a dollar? Because I'm not going to think I deserve to have anything I want. And Lane felt even more vindicated in her parenting decisions after speaking to her sister, you see, Lane's sibling reiterated an important lesson that the mom of five knew to be true deep down. She reminded me that the best things in life aren't things, Lane wrote. And with that, Lane knew that she had to share her story with other moms who might be feeling the way that she had. She infused her advice with a bit of her faith too, as that had also helped make her feel better about Senior Portrait Day. Lane's message on Facebook continued, Mamas, if you're struggling with the parenting comparison game, just know that God gave you the babies you have because he wanted you to be their mama, not someone else. Lane then finished her post by sharing a couple of short anecdotes about her son. And it was clear that Zeke's self-sufficiency and work ethic made her proud not ashamed. Zeke has taken his brother shopping for a canoe today, using money that he earned himself, Lane wrote. The proud parent also added that her son drove to the store in a vehicle that he fixed with his own hands and gas he paid for by himself. So it certainly seemed that Lane had, indeed, raised her son very well. I'm not ready for Zeke to grow up, Lane concluded, but I think he's well on his way. And with that, she shared her post, and the message clearly resonated with the Facebook users who read it. In fact, just over two months later, her story had garnered 115,000 reactions and 47,000 shares. The post also received 13,000 comments, many of which provided Lane with even more support of her parenting skills. Janelle Walker wrote, That guilt-ridden comparison game. Good job, Mama. Despite your doubts and self-perceived shortcomings, you raised him well. In fact, many people said that Zeke was just the type of humble, hard-working child that they too hoped to raise. For instance, Patricia Stover wrote, Well done, Mom. He sounds like a fine young man. Exactly what I am working toward with my son. So while parenting can sometimes be hard, 
Lane's story goes to show that all that effort is often well and truly worth it. This story was really incredible, but you will like the next one more. A man was confused when his daughter knocked on the door, then he saw her take out and just knew. Victoria Cohen flew all the way from Chicago to California to deliver some news to her parents in the most unique way. She knocked on the door holding a bag of takeout, and within seconds, her father brought his hands to his face in shock. Cohen is originally from California. These days she resides in Chicago. Formerly trained as an engineer, she worked in a corporate post until the end of 2016, when Cohen decided to make some drastic changes to her life and quit. In the fall of that year, Cohen left her job in order to focus on one of her greatest passions in life, yoga. She decided that she wanted to be a full-time yoga teacher, in fact, so that's exactly what she did. Now she also runs a lifestyle website called Almonds and Asana. Cohen's website gives her an online space where she can share tips on all things health and well-being. But there's another reason why she attracted a lot of attention online recently. And it was all to do with a video that went viral. In March 2018, Cohen and her husband Tom Burke did something totally awesome to surprise Cohen's parents. Their actions stemmed from a long-standing family tradition, but the way in which they pulled off the surprise was executed to perfection. The video starts with a shot of Cohen standing by the front door of a house. It transpires that she's waiting outside her parents' home in Orange County, having flown all the way from Chicago to California to deliver some extra special news. Cohen then knocks on the front door and waits for somebody to answer. Within a few seconds, her dad swings open the door and the look on his face is absolutely priceless. It's clear that he immediately clocks what is going on. As the front door opens, Cohen is heard saying, Did someone order Magianos? While she offers her dad a bag of takeout food from the restaurant of the same name. And when Cohen's father hears the word Magianos, he knows exactly what his daughter means. In a rather unusual manner, Cohen is in fact telling her dad that she's pregnant. As soon as he understands what's happening, her father brings his hands to his face, and then he and his daughter share a beautiful embrace in the doorway. Next, Cohen's mom comes to the door to find out what all the fuss is about, but it doesn't take her long to work it out. She sees her husband and daughter hugging, and then looks down to see the Magianos take out bags. No, Magianos, Cohen's mom exclaims as she comes to understand that her daughter is pregnant, and with that, the big announcement was complete. But in order to understand the relevance of the Magianos references, we have to go back a full seven years. Seven years earlier, Cohen's brother Grant had told their parents that his wife Chanel was pregnant, and the family were sitting in Magianos' restaurant in Los Angeles when he broke the big news. Then, when Chanel became pregnant again, the couple did the same thing. Yes, Cohen's brother booked a table at Magianos to announce the second pregnancy too, creating a bizarre family tradition in the process. So when Cohen herself felt pregnant, she knew that she wanted to follow suit and keep up the unusual ritual. And Cohen managed to pull it off perfectly, resulting in a heartwarming video that the whole family can treasure forever. Indeed, some of the best clips on the internet involve pregnancy or gender reveals, and plenty of them rack up millions of views. One such video, which has garnered a whopping 6 million views, involves two grandparents to be playing a game inspired by The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. They sit at the kitchen table with noise cancellation headphones on while their son shouts the same sentence at them over and over. The phrase that they must lip read is, you are going to be a grandparent, but the grandfather to be doesn't decipher it right away. In fact, he takes a good while to understand what is being said, whereas his wife, the grandmother to be, grasps it almost instantly. What follows is a truly hilarious piece of film that shows the grandfather to be struggling to understand the phrase. But when he finally does, his reaction is amazing. I'm going to be a grandfather? He exclaims as he jumps to his feet, clearly overwhelmed with emotion. As a viewer, it seems impossible not to be touched by the poignant footage, and plenty of YouTube users agreed. That is the best video I've ever seen, commented one who was particularly moved by the pregnancy reveal. While Cohen's reveal was based on a very personal family joke, it's still made for wonderful viewing even for those who don't know what Magianos is. And just a little while after that clip, Cohen filmed a gender reveal video as well. True to her love of yoga, Cohen sent an email to a favorite athleisure brand of hers, Yoga Club. The message contained an attachment that revealed the gender of her baby, and then the company sent her some yoga attire in the appropriate color, blue.